the Emirates Stadium in London. Well, one of Gordon Brown's MPs, Peter Kilfoyle, MP for Liverpool constituency, joins me on the phone now. Uh, we understand Gordon Brown's coming under increasing pressure from the US to send more troops to Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, how, how will you be voting? Well, uh, the assumption is, is that we'll have a vote um, if that was to eventuate. But frankly, um, I don't think he could carry that. I, I, there may be some small incremental increase, but the pressure is on the reverse. Not that we become more engaged, but that we become less engaged. And what is the mood in the governing party? Are there uh, about these wars well, in I Iraq? Mean, it, well, at, at the moment, I have to say, it, it's certainly not focused uh, on Afghanistan. I mean, there is a widespread uh, belief that we ought not to be in, in Iraq, uh, that we ought not to be complicating it with uh, further adventures anywhere in that region or elsewhere. And that, in fact, um, the, the two big issues are the electoral fortunes, um, uh, at, at starting with the local elections in a few weeks. And frankly, the, the people are more concerned with the political fallout from the row over expenses. And do you, do you think... Are not the, sorry. Yeah, do you think people see Afghanistan as a good war, Iraq as a bad war? Is there a case of that? No, I don't think that's the case at all. I think they're seen as misadventures. I think that whilst um, arguably there was some kind of... Uh, uh, legal rationale through the uh, UN uh, for Afghanistan. That was indeed uh, six, uh, seven years ago when that happened, uh, when, 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 when that was justified. And as regards Iraq, people have come to realise uh, that they were well and truly uh, hoodwinked by the then Prime Minister. And, and do you think the media has any role in all of this? I mean, I know that the oh. British, British media seem to be covering uh, a lot about uh, Paul McCartney. I know you're... Uh, you probably saw Paul McCartney with the Beatles in Liverpool, and uh, of course the coverage of the Sarkozy visit is uh, all about Sarkozy's wife. Well, this is all froth and bubble, and, and of course the media itself uh, at the moment, even the media in Parliament seems to be more obsessed with expenses and the very real issues uh, of people dying needlessly in Afghanistan and Iraq. Um, you have to re remember is that uh, the problem with the British establishment is that, by and large, it supported the war in Iraq um, as part of this wider so-called war on terrorism. Um, and it's only belatedly that they've come to realise that, that, that it's, been, it's been a nonsense. But what they don't want to do is to stand up and be counted on the issue, frankly. Now, Gordon Brown did mention, finally, Gordon Brown did mention uh, Iran very pointedly. Do you think uh, that Brown would back a White House-sponsored war against Iran? I don't think he would survive uh, such, such a support uh, for, uh, for, for, for such a, uh, a perilous adventure. Um, as for his remarks on Iran and, and nuclear power and nuclear weapons, I think it ill behoves the, the, the current nuclear powers to worry about uh, proliferation when they've done relatively nothing to disarm themselves. That was the other side of the non-proliferation tre uh, treaty, remember. And... Uh, Certainly, they say nothing about Israel's uh, nuclear weapons. Peter Kilfoyle, MP in Prime Minister Gordon Brown's party.